Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a quick unboxing and general review of the Bose QuietComfort Bluetooth earbuds. Before we get started, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. And as a side note, just as a general Black Friday 2020 teaser, uh, next video I'm recording will actually be an unboxing and general review of the Mario Kart Nintendo Switch edition. So again, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out the channel for new content. So to go ahead and get started, we will we'll go ahead and just jump in, open up the box, run through, and then we'll run through the specs and my general thoughts after. So once you take the outer slip off, you're left with a pretty plain looking box. General uh, build quality is pretty nice, what you'd essentially expect from a Bose product. You have a case. When you take this top plastic piece off, you will notice that you're going to have your start manual as well as the typical booklet with all the general information that most people don't actually read. And then when you lift up this flap, you will have two additional sets of the earbuds. So one will have the left and right size for the biggest, and then one will have the left and right for the smallest. The size two or middle size is actually already on the earbuds themselves. You will have a USB type C charger, does not have the AC adapter. And then you just have the general silica packet to keep everything nice and dry. Again, box itself and general impressions are pretty solid compared to other Bluetooth headphones. So not much fascinating there. Now to jump into the product itself. So you'll have a pretty nice hard plastic case. In the front, you will see you have five LED indicators to indicate the battery level of the case itself. The battery level for the Bluetooth headphones can actually be detected through the app, and it will detect independent battery levels for the left and right earbud. When you press this button in the front, it will actually have almost like a hydraulic opening effect. You'll see the battery level indicator on the front, and you will see the light on both headphones as well as the Bluetooth button. This will actually be your on off toggle as well as general Bluetooth pairing, although they do go into pairing mode immediately upon opening the box and actually pulling the headphones out. So overall impression, everything has an incredibly nice feel to it. The box inside looks great. I know that a lot of people will complain as, as you can see, you'll have fingerprint smudges, but at the same time, it's a really, really nice quality hard plastic. Will probably scratch relatively easily, but overall, again, incredibly solid feel. Now, when you take the actual earbuds out, you will already do have the little fishtail on them and the little magnetic charging piece down here. The case is magnetized on the interior, so they will literally just clip right in and start charging. Now, as I said before, both of these earbuds actually have the fishtail piece and it's the size two, so the middle size. One thing you will notice is the earbuds actually have more of an oval shape as opposed to the traditional just round circular shape found in most earbuds, like for example, a lot of the Skullcandy products. But you will see the left and right indicator on both earbuds. And then the piece right here is actually surprisingly easy to remove. If you pull up without trying to put too much pressure, you'll see it hooks on over the back and it will slide right off the front. And you can tell this is where the sound is actually coming out and that actually feeds straight through. Um, it doesn't get too close to the eardrum. And then these actually have a left right indicator on them as well. Um, they also have a little QR code indicating model number. And then this slips on pretty easily and snaps pretty much right into place. Now, both of these earbuds have capacitive touch, so you can just touch pretty much anywhere on the Bose logo or surrounding area, and that'll activate various functions. So I will go ahead and throw these in the case and give you a quick rundown of general specs for the product itself. So <clears throat> these have 11 levels of noise cancellation. I've tested it through the various stages with a little bit of general noise in the background playing from a TV. I can tell you, you can very much hear the difference. So the Bose app itself has a, what looks like a volume toggle that you can drag through the various stages of noise cancellation. And if you're sitting near something that produces noise and you've never had a noise canceling earbud before, you can actually hear as it progresses, the background noise start to fade away. Now, I don't think that there is a standard for noise cancellation. It's pretty much just 
whoever does it the best in the market, and then that kind of sets the bar. These will not block out everything. However, I was very, very much impressed. Comparing to more of like a budget earbud, for example, the Boltoon earbuds, I'll put a link to my review in the description. You can tell logos fading off, although it's a much slimmer box. These have a standard noise cancellation. It's not the active or passive. It's this weird QV or QC noise cancellation. You'd have to go to that video to check it out. But uh, comparing the two, the bows are leagues ahead. However, they are also five to six times more expensive. So <clears throat> jumping into the specs for the earbuds. Again, 11 levels of noise cancellation. So they do have the quote unquote active and passive noise cancellation, essentially just choosing to let in outside noise or not. They do have six hours of playtime per earbud and the case itself adds an additional 12 hours. So don't be misled when you read 18 hours. Uh, a lot of times that's just a lot of websites advertise the total playtime when you factor in the case and each earbud fully charged. They do have three total silicone tips, which we already covered. They come in these little bags. Uh, you'll just tear off the top, which I've already done, pull the left and right earbuds out and then slip them on. They do have capacitive touch controls on both earbuds, as we discussed. This is a nice feature. Uh, my only complaint is it's pretty much the entire side of the earbud. So if you touch anywhere on the earbud, I don't think where the light is, will it will actually adjust anything. But just putting these in initially and adjusting them, you'll probably end up mashing a couple buttons or changing some settings unless you're putting them in your ear from the sides. Now, uh, next up... They do pretty much every single function that you could imagine a typical set of Bluetooth earbuds would. So using the capacitive buttons, you can change the noise cancellation level. You can handle various music controls, answer calls, and they have a couple other features as well. And there is a customizable option. I have not used it yet because they pretty much do everything I need right out of the box. These are Bluetooth 5.1 enabled, so essentially rated up for a standard 30 feet. Uh, the Bluetooth on this is much better compared to the traditional Bluetooth 5.0 or 5.1 budget earbuds, where when you walk away from the phone and you turn a corner, it's almost like the, it, the connection just cuts off completely. I do think that there are levels of quality in the Bluetooth 5.0 or 5.1 market, so to speak. Now, the case itself is a QI-enabled wireless charging case magnetized interior to keep earbuds in place and 15 minutes of charging yields typically about two hours of playback. This is again a USB type C charging port. When you close the case as you're looking around the charging port is actually on the back of the case. So the lights will indicate every time you open it and close it the total battery level for the case itself. The earbuds are rated at an IPX4 water resistance rating, essentially just a general protection from water and splashes. So I'm actually gonna be putting a couple different links in the description. One of them is going to be a website that lists all the IPX ratings and what they mean. Another for the Amazon product itself that will also have a lot of the information that I'm pulling from. And then one final link to the actual Bose website for this product itself. So as far as the Ratings and specifications, that covers the bulk of what most people would want to know. I did scan through some Amazon reviews just to see what some individuals thought of these. And I can tell you that just like every other review video out there, and honestly, every review, it's completely subjective 50% of the time. Um, you can't really be subjective on a six hour playback. Uh, it, it is what it is. Most headphones, they'll say six hours, but if you're using it continuously, it will tend to be a little bit lower, probably between four to five hours, depending on whether you're answering and hanging up calls, listening to music and streaming the entire time, or just having the Bluetooth device connected to your phone. So playback times will vary, but again, that is what it's going to be. Most headphones across the board have a general rating and likely will fall short because what they do in testing is often completely different than real world. Now, looking at ratings in general, um, the earbuds, can ha have up to seven saved devices and each earbud can be used independently. So you can use either the right or the left earbud. And this will result in a loss of functionality, which some individuals have highlighted. I think that's to be expected. You can only have so many options with the capacitive touch because you're going to end up with a single tap, tapping twice, and then if you want additional functionality, they would have to build it in for tapping three times, four times, five times. And I think that that's probably just a little bit too much to try to build in. 
Other complaints that I've noticed uh, typically are going to be about the case potentially being easily scratched. The biggest complaint that I have seen online uh, is the size of the case. To be completely honest, this is a fairly sizable case. Most people note that this is too big to put in a pocket or a jacket case. I would disagree. Um, I will say it is much bulkier than most, but if you compare, for example, to the Boltoon case that I have, it is, I'm not going to say twice the size, but pretty close. Um, just when you consider general width or volume of the case itself. So uh, I think that they're both providing a similar battery life, but once you factor in that this has the QI charging and then it's providing double the battery life and it is a Bose product, this is going to be much more solid, so to speak, than a case like this. So I think that the build quality um, and the size of the case itself is, is honestly worth it. I did note that there was an additional review online that noted that the earbuds can't be turned off independently without the case. If you were to take the earbuds to work, for example, and you were to walk around away from the case, you can't turn them on. You pretty much have to wait for the earbuds to die. I have not seen anything in Bose support about how to resolve this. I would note that if you're walking around without the case, you're really running a risk of losing the earbuds, uh, for example, leaving the case for six hours, which is the general play time for the earbuds themselves, even for an hour or two, if you have to take them out for anything, just tossing an earbud in your pocket would probably not be best practice because it will, you're going to have to end up disconnecting one of them. So the complaint appears to be that this Bluetooth button right here, which controls pairing and turning the headphones on and off, Individuals uh, online would prefer to have that functionality on the earbuds themselves, which I'm sure could be a software update that Bose could implement. The final thing that I would like to cover with these earbuds is the Bose Music app itself. In all honesty, it's, it's a pretty well-built app. I didn't have any issues with it crashing. I can tell you that some other app makers, they will not always create the most high quality application, especially for like Android and iOS. So I think overall it is, um, it's a solid app. I think the music integration is not as good. Uh, so for example, when you log into the app, you will be able to tell that you have these devices connected. It'll allow you to adjust the noise cancellation and general volume of the earbuds. You can adjust the volume from e the earbuds individually as the left and right both have different functions. Uh, you can also change some of the settings for the earbuds and you can use your phone's volume button once the earbuds are connected as well. But the one complaint that I would have for the app itself is the music integration. When you're playing something on Pandora, for example, and you're trying to adjust or change channels, you have to open the Pandora app. Using the Bose app, you can skip and rewind, or, or I guess you should say go to previous track and adjust the volume. But that is about all the functionality at the time of posting this video that you have from the Bose app. So it's essentially, if you want to adjust the noise cancellation, you can use the earbuds independently, but capacitive touch, if you want, you're going to end up using the earbuds pretty heavily to adjust noise cancellation, uh, answer calls, skip tracks, pause, play, and I just think that it can be a little overwhelming trying to remember the number of taps and sequences when you're adding in 20 different features. I, and this is, again, just completely subjective, but I do think that they could add complete integration for the Pandora app into the Bose app itself. But again, very, very minor thing. And the app, again, very well built. When I was setting up these earbuds individually, I don't think that I had any issues whatsoever getting these set up and paired to the phone. I think I did have to click on the headphones two to three times to get them to pair by usually holding this button you'll they'll allow it to sync pretty quickly and again you do have this rubberized top magnetic case so all in all i uh, think this is a great product on the bose website they are listed at 279.99 at the time of posting this video so overall um, i think that they're i actually apologize 279.95 for the standard quiet comfort earbuds there is a sport comfort as well um, but i think that these overall they're an incredible set of headphones uh, I will say that you may need a third-party app if you're looking to adjust audio levels. Another complaint that I see for any earbuds out there, individuals complaining about the bass or treble or really any settings. When I put these in and I listen to some music, comparing it to listening in my car and other earbuds, the bass is not very intense. However, you can tell that the headphones are capable of more. So you could use third-party apps to adjust the settings as well. 
uh, but straight out of the box, the audio profile is pretty solid overall. Um, based on the music that I was listening to, the bass is definitely present. I do think that they're capable of hitting harder than they do, but that all depends on what you personally prefer. So all in all, I do think that with these being a hard plastic set of earbuds, they aren't metal. I know some people will complain about that. I don't have any complaints about the earbuds myself. I, I think that for Bluetooth earbuds, this is probably the best that you're going to get, especially in this price category. Um, they have a really, really solid audio playback time. The battery life is great. You can't feel these earbuds in your ear. They have this little fishtail piece that fits in the ridge of your ear to keep them in place. I don't feel like they're going to fall out. They're incredibly comfortable, even though it is a completely different shape on the, the silicone piece itself. So I honestly would not have any complaints. I think that the Bose app could use a little bit of work to increase functionality with music integration, as well as just the general equalizer itself and controlling the different audio levels. But I think that this is definitely a product that you could expect from Bose. And as far as the size of the case and other complaints online, it's really just up to your personal preference. Bearing in mind, it is going to be larger than most of the other cases, especially compared to the AirPods and AirPod Pro. But I think that they're a great set of headphones, especially with Black Friday upon us. I think that you can get them at a great deal online. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop some comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. And again, as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.